and the radiologitechnologies.com still says going live. So, okay, I guess now we're live. So, this is Ron again with the radiologitechnologists.com. Thanks for coming to my YouTube channel. I got another question I thought I'd answer real quick while I had a quiet house. I have a uh, uh, Goldies44 commented, hello, I'm going into a dual modality rad tech program next fall, and I'm wondering if you think it would be beneficial to gain exposure working as a technician assistant in the meantime. So, Goldies, a uh, couple questions first, and um, I'll give you answers to both, so I cover either one. Let's see if we can aim this down a little bit. And with the camera. Uh, the fact that you use the word technician first makes me wonder what exactly you're talking about. Although I've got articles on my blog, the radiologitechnologist.com, explaining the difference between technologist and technician. Typically, a technician is a person that works on the equipment, and you may be talking about that. I don't know. Technologist is the person that is trained in taking the images, diagnostically speaking. Um, but I've noticed uh, outside of the United States, uh, they do use the word technician to indicate a technologist. Um, so my guess is you're probably referring to the person taking the images, and therefore you're asking, would it be beneficial to be a rad tech aide or a radiologic assistant before going to your multimodality school? My, my answer across the board would be absolutely, it would be helpful um, that's one of the things I teach in my mentoring programs to help people get into rad tech schools um, and craft uh, great resumes as well, is the more experience you have and the broader the experience, the better off you will be and the more desirable you will be to either your school or your future employer. Um, for example, I always talk about volunteering. If you're applying to a rad tech program, you want to put down that you have some type of exposure to what we're talking about. If you're being interviewed for a rad tech program and they say, how much do you know about what we do? And you've never volunteered and, and don't really have any good solid answers to that question. You're not going to do as well as someone who has say at least volunteered in the radiology department or has been a CNA or has been a volunteer, even in the gift shop of a hospital, because even the volunteer in a gift shop has an idea of the workflow of a hospital if they're paying any attention at all. I mean, it's it's at least minimal to say that I volunteered in a hospital environment. I understand that the greeting at the door and the patients come in and get routed to different parts of the hospital, depending on if they need laboratory work or x-rays or to see a physician in their office. Um, it's good to have a general overall understanding of how the hospital works. And by volunteering at the hospital in any department, you can get that basic understanding. If you have the opportunity to do some volunteer work inside a radiology department, that's gold because you will get to see exactly how the department works. And that is very beneficial um, for the interview process and the rad tech program. But also in your case, since you're already accepted into a program, it would allow you to see the workflow inside the department, which you will eventually be doing yourself. So any leg up or any advantage, so to speak, that you can give yourself is definitely worth it. And that doesn't only include doing uh, volunteer hours or even working like you're indicating as an assistant. It also includes attending seminars, watching webinars, whether you're going to these in person or even watching them online. Um, the AHRA conference this year is fully online. They're still charging for it, but you can see everything online. You don't have to go to uh, Chicago or, or you know, it's always held in, in a big convention city. This year, thanks to the Rona, it's being offered online. Um, but anything that teaches you a little bit more, even just watch the antmini.com website. That's A-U-N-T, like my aunt's. Aunt Susie or Aunt Sally or Aunt Minnie, uh, A-U-N-T, and then Minnie is spelled M as in Mary, I-N-N-I-E, and it's AuntMinnie.com. That's really kind of, I wouldn't call it the drudge report of the medical uh, field, but um, it has a lot of new uh, information, cutting edge information, uh, new discoveries, new technology, um, 
I watch that daily. I review their articles daily. They have it broken down by modalities. I watch the administrative modality. I watch um, uh, pretty much all of them. If you're only interested in, say, X-ray and CT, you can just watch those two modalities. So go to antmini.com on a regular basis and check those out. Um, they have a case of the day where you can see some new pathology. Um, but overall, I'm just going to hop back to your question and make sure I got it all. Um, you're going into a dual modality rad check program, which is awesome for you because they don't have a lot of that over here. I looked at your channel just to see if I can get a better understanding of your question. And it looks like you have um, videos uploaded in Spanish. So I'm guessing you're somewhere uh, in a Spanish speaking territory. Um, it's hard to tell by these videos, but uh, that's why you use the word technician assistant. And that's why you have the ability to go to a dual modality rad tech program. Cause here in America, they, they have one, you know, they have x-ray school, and while you're in your clinical rotations, you can sit in on other modalities and shadow, maybe learn a little bit, but not not officially learn enough to sit for the boards, where it sounds like you're going into a dual modality rad tech program. So that's awesome. Good for you. I hope that's answered your question. My, my answer is yes. Anything that teaches you more about the radiologic technology um, workflow is going to benefit you whether it's reading magazines, and, and I got two of them in the other day. I got the scanner, and I got uh, another one I need to go through. Uh, so there's magazines. If you don't see them around your hospital, you can go to the local library and grab them. Um, there's certainly videos online. There's uh, uh, the organizations, ASRT, ARRT, whatever the organization is where you're at. Um, I've, I get value out of the AHRA. But that's more administrative. Um, you've got conferences, online webinars. I, I get tons of spam from uh, organizations having seminars about different different topics related to radiology in general. Um, you can also join the Facebook groups. There's a good eight, nine, ten Facebook groups specifically around radiology, um, which have their fair share of spam, unfortunately, but uh you can go to mine i have a group on there called the radiologic technologist group i also am the admin of a couple of the other facebook groups one's just called radiology uh, another one's called uh x-ray x-ray technologists um but you see a lot of questions on there a lot of q a you see you know somebody may ask a question about how do i get the best uh spot film on my on my uh cervical uh or upper thoracic and you'll see 50 people answer with how they do it um, or swimmers or an L5S1 or whatever. Uh, you see a whole bunch of people chime in and answer that question. So always be willing to learn. I'm glad you're looking at that option of how to get better before you're even in the program. That's awesome. Don't forget on my website, I have uh, a whole bunch of articles on how to be better at studying, how to study better, how to get more out of it, how to learn more. Um, I'm sitting at around 95 articles at this point. Uh, over 200,000 words, I'm pretty sure, on the blog itself, plus the 40-plus videos on this YouTube channel and a couple of podcasts. So uh, lots of stuff out there you can review. And uh, if this helps, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you can see when I put out more stuff. Uh, watch for my giveaways. I gave away a, a fully posable study skeleton about two weeks ago. And uh, I'll be having another contest coming up here pretty soon. So I uh, hope that answers your question. Thanks for leaving it. Have a great day.